Quite a field as well. Some very, very strong competitors. It's that time again. The once every four years celebration of fitness and athleticism, otherwise known as the Olympics. And with that comes a licensed game. London 2012 is not going to surprise anyone with how it plays, but nonetheless, it is but a mission fun. There's 45 games from the Olympics found in this game, ranging from track and field to swimming, diving and even beach volleyball. Each event is slightly different, but usually only slightly. There are four main types of events. There's the running, which is, unsurprisingly, games all about tapping buttons quickly. There's skill-based games such as diving and gymnastics, which are about completing a series of button presses before landing. The better the precision with those button presses, the better the score. Then there are the field events. Those are all about building up a speed and then flicking the control stick in a precise angle to throw an object or jump to an optimal height. And finally, there's the shooting events. And those play out just like you'd expect. Each of those four categories of games play well, and though they're simple, they do fit with the theme of an Olympics game. Breaking the Olympic records is going to take some practice with this game. It's unfortunate, though, that those few times the developer tried to do something a little bit more complex, those games all fall flat. Beach volleyball, for instance, and also table tennis are a little bit more involving in terms of the mechanics, but unfortunately they are also largely broken, with clunky animations, unresponsive controls and a really poor AI, making those games next to useless. So focused in this performance. Quite rightly delighted with that. Let's take a look at the replay of that great dive. Well, here are the results then coming in now. As expected, the simple AI and the natural competitiveness that a sports game offers makes this a game that is better experienced with friends in multiplayer than in solo play. There is some online play options, but already it's hard to get a game going, so I don't see that being something that you'll be playing in the longer term. athletes that could all take gold at this Olympic Games. On your marks, set. Will we get a Despite that, away? London 2012 does do a really good job of recreating the atmosphere of the Olympics. The crowd volume is booming, and though the character models are very simple and the animation is a little stiff, the stadiums themselves do look very authentic. Given the weight of history behind those stadiums, that authenticity is going to be a big plus for sports fans, and anybody who has been watching the Olympics is going to be able to immediately associate themselves playing the game with the Olympic event. So all up, London 2012 is probably what we expected from an Olympics game. It's a little simple, it's probably not going to be a game that we're playing through to the next Olympics, but in terms of being a bit of fun, you know, you could do worse.